Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel No Networks. In this tutorial, we will see how to install a policies on checkpoint management server through a smart console and then install those policies over a security gateway. Just let me quickly take you to our network design and over here I will explain what we are going to do today. If you remember in our early, previous tutorial, we have created a host object that was management station. Now we will be adding this internal LAN that is a network object, DMZ network, our Active Directory server and a web server host object in our firewall. Once this is done, then we will be creating our policies. So in today's tutorial, what we are going to do is we will be creating some basic policies, the access policies and thereafter we will see how we can open the internet on this management station through a firewall gateway. So before we proceed, let me give you some basic concepts of the fire, fire, checkpoint firewall, the policy configuration. In uh, the firewall, if you will see, it's a straight away web GUI where you go and you configure the policies and finished. But the concept of a checkpoint firewall is a bit different. What we are doing is we have built up a three tier architecture where we are using a management station on which the smart console is installed and using a smart console we are configuring the policies on our checkpoint management server and thereafter the install policy the configured policies we are installing on our firewall gateway so if you have a one checkpoint management server and a one, one firewall gateway even if you have 100 policies you can configure those policies and you can group those but let's assume a scenario where you have a checkpoint management server and a five security gateways. In that case, there is a possibility the managing the policies will be a bit challenge for you. So the concept is, let's uh, take you to the smart console and when you move to security policies over here, you will see that a standard written over here, right? So basically it is a standard package, a default package. So you can create multiple packages. The ad, uh, advantage what you will get, let's say for example, uh, you have site A, you will give the package name as site A and in that you will configure the policies. Then you have site B, you will configure the policies. Basically this will ease your management. So let's create, uh, over here we have one security gateway. If you create a policies over here in the standard package, it's okay. But in order to learn how to create a package, it's a very simple concept, but anyhow, I have to show you. So let's move to the configuration. You will go over here in the menu and then you will click on manage policies and layers. What you have to do over here is you will see that standard package is already by default available. You will create a new package and what we are going to do is we will give a name, let's say lab policy what all base you require for this package. By default, you have access control and HTTPS inspection, threat prevention. It's okay, we'll move on with this one. Click on okay over here. Object name contains special character or white space. Okay, it's not allowed. So what you have to do is we will simply put a half in over here and click okay. What happened? Okay. So you will see that a lab policy is being created over here and we will move on. Let's close this. Now you will see you have a new tab with lab policy. So what we are going to do is before we proceed with the policy, straight away we are going to create our host and network objects from here new and you will say network. We will add our internal LAN as per our network design, which is 10.1.1.0 slash 24 means subnet answers 255.255.255.0. Click OK. We will be adding our DMZ zone as well. Click on network. We will say DMZ network. And we are going to add the network address that is 
and the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 click on ok let's add our outside network as well click on new and then network So the network address is 192.168.0.0. Let's verify if I'm not wrong. Okay. And we'll add our two hosts. That is, uh, let me add you one more thing. In the network design, I have added a small thing that is Active Directory Server because we are going to integrate Active Directory maybe in after next to next three to four tutorials so i have added active directory and we will give ip 10.1.1.50 let's add this host as well and we will be adding this web server as well over here so the host will be active directory ad server and the ip address is going to be 10.1.1.50 and the one more host over here that will be a web server and the IP address is going to be 172.16.0.100 let's say ok and what we will do we have done this much thing before we proceed with the policy configuration I will just install the policy you can click on publish or you can even directly install the policy will publish over here publish is basically to save the configuration and the install policy is to push the configuration from the management server to the gateway install policy Now it is asking me like where uh, I want to install the policy. We'll say lab policy and click on install it. Install. Uh, we were supposed to do one more thing over there when we were creating a package. Uh, let me show you. It will take some time to complete and you can see that the lab policy succeeded earlier if you remember it was giving a standard standard but now uh, we have the changed the package it is saving giving lab policy okay the change which we were supposed to do is over here lab policy just go over here and I have clicked this uh, edit button go to installation target it is asking you where you want to install this if you say all gateway all the gateway whichever are available it will install over there and if you specify the gateway you have to click this add uh, then plus button and you have to give this checkpoint gateway 10.1.1.200 so in this case what will happen by default the policy will be install on this specific gateway if you keep all gateway also it's okay because you have only one gateway for now so it will push over there but the standard practice is you specify the gateway and we have specified the gateway click ok and close it and again you have to push this so instead of publish over here also when you click on install policy to push first it will ask you to publish the unpublished changes so just click on publish and install install and again and again it is asking that where you want to install because this is open we will close this
since both of them were open both the tabs were open the standard and lab policy that's why it was asking you that where you have to store now we have closed that so it will directly go to the lab policy option over here it is succeeded now it is giving you it is succeeded but if you want to check the whether the policy install is successful or not what you will do you, you will go to checkpoint gateway over here and let's log in very first the command is fw stat it will give you the status of the firewall and it is saying that a localhost lab policy it is successfully installed and it is giving you date and time just note on this time it is 7th august 2022 2019 because uh, now when again we will do some changes and we will install we will not fetch the power i mean we will not install the policy from the smart console but we will try to install the same policy from the cli i will show you how to install the policy from cli also so let's move to the smart console so guys we have just configured the host and network objects we have created our package also quickly we will start working on the policies now so let me tell you how to install the basic policies and all the very first thing which you are doing to, going to do is you will configure the management rule management policy so in order to configure this what you will do either you can add rule above from here or you will right click and you will say new rule above so let's begin the first will be our management rule management rule is basically to manage your firewall so fr source from where you want to manage your firewall you will give your management station management station ip you can search it from here 10.1.1.100 right and you will just click on plus button close it if you want to add some more even we want that the security gateway should be accessible manageable from your firewall manager i mean your security management server then you have to add that you will search from here 10.1.1.150 right this one so you will add this additionally let's add our laptop also i mean host laptop that is 192.168.0.166 right so we'll create one new host you can create from here also click over here and you can just click this button and host you will say host laptop that is my laptop it can be your laptop when you're doing the lab uh, for my uh, ip is 192.168.0.166 click ok and you can see the host laptop is over here now if you want to just differentiate that host laptop is something apart from your network i mean from your virtual network it is a physical host or something if you want to notify that you can just change the color also let's say we'll give the red color for this just for the highlighting purpose and nothing else the destination will be of course your security gateway you can search from here or even search from the name 1.200 which is your firewall gateway vpn can be any service and application so basically you need cli and the web-based access right so you will be saying that uh, you need ssh access and what else https for the web gui this one then action it will be accept of course you need to access that's why you're creating a policy it will be accept track so basically you need to log the event whatever uh, the traffic or whatever request is hitting on this rule you want to log it or just you need an alert for this uh, if alert you need what kind of alert so basically we'll say we i need to log this action or if the traffic is i need to log the action install on where you want to install just click it over here and you will say of course i want to uh, install this on our checkpoint gateway and close it so what you have done basically you have created a management rule saying that for my firewall gateway this all sources should access and on this port number they should access and any event whichever is created should be logged any request which is hitting this policy should be logged moving on second one 
we will create a stealth rule what is stealth rule exactly the opposite of this you will say apart from this anything is trying to access just deny it let's create a rule below this either you can do it from here that add new rule below or even you can use this button to add the rule below you will give the name of this rule as stealth rule and you will say that source can be any source can be any destination will be a, che a checkpoint gateway instead of searching now you can do one more thing you can just drag it from here and put it over here okay services and application SSH HTTPS you can even drag this over here action you will say drop if you want to lock this event also if someone apart from this is trying to access this event also should be locked yes click on this and install on checkpoint gateway over here this is a stealth rule now the third rule which you are going to create will be basically a rule to give internet access let me take you to the network design to give the internet access to the management station the means the traffic should initiate from here should reach till here so you will say let's give the name as internal rule it will be internal rule to whom you, now either you can give the access to internet access to the entire internal LAN or to the management station where you want to give for now we will say i want to give the access only to the management station for now so where is our management station we will try to find it from the ip address this is our management station 10.1.1.100 and what will be the destination it should go to the internet right all internet vpn can be any leave it as it is services you know guys to provide the internet access what we need http https and dns so let's say http let's open the port https and dns that's all action should be accept log the action install it on the checkpoint gateway that's all now these are only the four policies but let's assume like if you have a hundred of policies and you want to group it then definitely grouping is required of course so in that case even you can group the policies and uh, sorry I miss out the last one the last one will be implicit deny that will be cleanup rule it will be source can be any to destination can be any services and application can be any the action should be drop and yes uh, if any traffic not hitting on the first second and third policy will hit the fourth policy and that action should be denied and it should be locked the policy target will be your checkpoint gateway now so if you have 100 of policies in that case definitely there will be a challenge so grouping is the option you can do that just let's say for example the first two policies are your management policy the third policy is to provide an internet access and the fourth one is implicit deny you can group this you will just right click over here and you will say new section title above and you will say that from for this is for the management management policies or management rule whatever you use we will say management rules now since this is added uh, over here it is saying one to four but we will go down and we will be adding more it will change the number also now internal rule this is basically for internal access uh, internet access right you will say new section section title above you will see it was 124 now it is changed to 122 now over here you will say internet access 
and this will you will say new section title above and this you will say implicit deny okay it is done you will simply save it It is saved. Guys, uh, I don't want you to install the policy from here now. Uh, I will show you the uh, command line. Okay. Uh, we are into the gateway. We will log in to the checkpoint gateway. And what we are going to do is we will hit the command from here to install the policy. Before that, let me show you FW stat command. And it is saying you that uh, the last policy which was installed was on 7th August at 2019. Right. So the command to install the policy from the CLI is FW fetch and the IP address of your management server which is 10.1. My numbs clock was off. Okay, let me turn on. Okay. 10.1.1.150. What is the command? FW fetch the management server IP address that is 10.1.1.150 in our case. Hit enter. It is installing security policy and saying that it is succeeded, right? Let's check the status again. FW stat. Now, if you will see, the time has changed after you have installed the policy. Earlier, if you will see over here, uh, before installing from the CLI, the timing which was shown is 7th August 2022 to 2019. And now it is 2031, which is the recent one. So this is how you will install the policy from the CLI guys. Let's move on. This is done. Now, what we have to see is whether after configuring this particular rule, we are able to access the internet on the machine. Of course not. The answer will be no, because there are many other things. The very first thing is the static route or you can say default route toward the internet interface is not added of course netting is required which is not done so and even the dns configuration is not done on the firewall right so we will do these three things one by one the very first thing what we are going to do is we will be adding the static route i will just show you like how you can uh, add the static route from the web gui but i will be adding the route from the cli only because whatever I will be doing the configuration, whether uh, in this tutorial or hereafter, I will be showing you on both the side of the CLI as well as on the web GUI. So we will access the gateway, which is 10.1.1.200. And So let me show you from the web GUI very first over here. You will just click on advanced button, proceed. Let me log in. It's very simple to do it from here. Uh, if you will see the web GUI of the checkpoint security gateway on the left frame over here it is IPv4 static routes. Simply you have to click add over here. What we are doing we are adding a static route to reach to the internet right. Uh, let me open the network design. We will say that uh, for any traffic with the default we are basically adding a default route. We will say with any IP address any subnet the default gateway will be this uh, over here that is 192.168.0.1 which is my the next hope which is my router right so the destination i will give 0.0.0.0, .0. subnet mask will be 0.0.0.0 .0. next hope type it will be normal and 
over here you will say add gateway either you can say IP address and you can add the IP address or you will say network interface and you will add the interface the interface which will be Ethernet 1 right if I'm not wrong it will be Ethernet 1 the interface which is facing towards the internet and you will click OK over here let me close this and you will save it but we are not going to add it from here to be very honest what we are going to do is we will be adding our default route from the CLI okay so let me take you to the checkpoint gateway over here and I will just log into the machine as usual the log database is being uh, it, the database is logged because it is taken by the web GUI we will give the command very first which is log database override enter so we have acquired the database now and the command to give the default route before that we will check how to check the route so the command is show route now you will see that you have a directly connected route type for 10.1.1.0 loopback and uh, 192.168.0.0 which is also directly connected interface basically it's a directly connected routes which is showing but you don't have any default route to reach to the internet uh, let me add you one uh, one more command if in if you remember in our previous not in the previous tutorial it was i believe uh, very very initial tutorials where i have uh, where i was showing you how to configure the ip addresses on the interface i have even give uh, shown you the command show interfaces all basically to check the interface details but if you want to only check the configuration what you have done on the interface the command will be show configuration interface it will give you the configuration whatever configuration you have done till now on the interface it will give you we have done IP before address we have turned the shirt to on that's all it is giving right just it was to add a command now let's come to the real topic the topic is we have to add the static route right the command is set static route which is default then you will say next op gateway address it will be a router when I do 168.0.1 straight on let me explain you the syntax set static route is to set the static route the route type is default it means it is saying 0, .0, .0, .0, .0, .0, .0 and the submit 0, .0, .0, .0, .0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 .0. Then it is saying next hope is the gateway address which is 192.168.0.1 it is the next hope address on enter now if you will check show route command it will show you this as well and you have to save the configuration now you have added the static route over here let's move to our web gui and we will be adding the dns as well over here go to host and dns it's being acquired so we will override the log so in the web gui we will acquire the log from here let's give the primary dns and secondary dns we will give giving global dns 8.8.8.8 and 4.2.2.2 applied It is done and finally we have added a static route we have uh, configured the DNS and the final thing is our netting right the most important topic you can say let's go over here now doing the netting over here is quite simple and the net which we are going to do over here is basically you can say it will be a dynamic net or a source based net i believe i don't need to go in depth about the netting concept 
and if someone is not so much i mean if someone ha don't have any much more exposure to the netting concept i have a tutorial in which i have given a uh, detailed explanation about the netting you can view that and i will be putting that link as well in the comment box uh, sorry in the description so guys uh, when you talk about netting you will see a net option over here right just click over here and see you cannot see any net rule related to our uh, vm machines and all go to policy over here since we have to open the internet access on the management station the netting how you will do netting is click over here it will open a host for you and you will see a NAT option over here, right? Just click over here on the NAT option and check this box, add automatic address translation rule. It will give you option translation method, whether it is a static NAT or a high means dynamic NAT. In our case, it is a dynamic NAT, right? So you will click this option, uh, keep this option as it is. You will say hide behind the gateway. If it's a one to one netting, then you will say hide behind the IP address. And of course, you will provide the netted IP address and public IP address on which you have to do netting. But in our case, it is not the case. You will say hide behind the gateway on which in, uh, gateway you have to install. By default, it is saying all. You can keep this, or if you want to define the gateway, you can define it from here and click on OK button. And finally, once this is done, you will click on install policy and publish and install. As you can see, the policy is successful, right? It's installed successfully. Guys, what we have done till now, we have created a policies. Then uh, what is needed, all those pre requisites, we have done it, right? Like uh, we have done the netting, we have added a static route over there. And thereafter, we have added the DNS. Everything is perfect. And as per that, our rule should work and we should be able to access the internet on our management station. This is our management station, right? So let's browse and see if we are able to access the internet. Let's go to yahoo.com. So seeing it, I think the policy is not working. It is saying DNS address and I don't think that the DNS is the issue because let's Check the configuration, IP config, the slash all, and you will, so, sorry. If you will see IP config, and you will see that IP address is proper, and if you will check the detailed things, you will see that the DNS configuration 8.8.8.8.4.2.2, everything is proper, right? Then also it is not working. So in this case, we need to troubleshoot like why it is not working. So there is a small twist, guys. Uh, if you will come over here in the gateways and server, simply go to checkpoint gateway. Although everything was right, your policy was right, it was supposed to work, but it didn't work. So it is a small twist over here. Uh, uh, let me take you again. Going to gateways and server over here in the gate checkpoint gateway. Open this by double clicking over here. Then go to network management over here and then just go to the interface which is facing towards the internet that is ethernet one double click over here or you can edit also from here you will see anti spoofing prevent and log right just modify the setting and instead of setting the action as prevent let's say detect or even you can uncheck for now you can say uh, you don't want the anti-spoofing to be performed on the uh, interface which is facing toward internet or you can say that simply detect it and log it but don't prevent and click ok why we have done this when we will be doing a tutorial on the threat prevention at that time i will give a detailed overview but since this is moreover a tutorial related to the policy management so let's just do this and let's see if our policy works now after doing 
this and click OK over here. Straight away install the policy on the lab policy package. Install policy, publish and install. Where you want to install in the lab policy, click on install button. And let's wait. So guys, this installation will take time. So in this case, there is no option rather than you have to wait. And you can see now that it is successfully installed, right? It is installed. Let's now open the browser and refresh the page. So now you can see that your website started to work. Google, Yahoo, everything is working, right? Uh, okay, let's go to logs and monitors and oh sorry i closed by mistake no problem going to logs and monitors over here click on logs over here and you can see now over here the google you have browsed or whatever things you have browsed it is being allowed over here this was the one of the traffic right which is passing from here so in short you can see that your policy has started to work and let's try to understand this log it is saying that it's originated from the checkpoint gateway and what is the source of the traffic it is management station which is 10.1.1.100 and then the source port it is saying the destination port is 443 it is going to 443 the destination ip is this one it is accepted then the netting has taken place with the netted IP is showing 192.168.0.200 which is the firewall interface IP address and accepted that's all so guys uh, it was a big tutorial definitely we have seen many things in it so just let me repeat the things what we have done in this tutorial so at the start we have created a policy package then thereafter we have created a host object network objects and we have installed the policies i mean uh, we have tried to push the policies from the management server to the management gateway using the smart console additionally we have seen how to check the statistics of the firewall using a fire fw strat command thereafter we have seen how we can install the policy through the uh, cli using the command fw fetch 10 dot uh, sorry the ip address and we have uh, we, uh, created a policies and we have added the section titles just let me take you to the security policies tab over here uh, after adding the sections and all we have created a policies uh, this policies which we have created for today and thereafter uh, we have added all the prerequisites which are required to open the internet on the particular machine so we have seen uh, how to do the netting how you have added the static route we have seen through web gui as well as we have seen through the cli and Finally, we have seen that everything was perfect. Then also the machine was not able to reach the internet. So going to the interface of the gateway, we have changed the anti-spoofing option from prevent and lock to detect and lock. The reason uh, behind doing that, I will be explaining you in the threat prevention tutorial. So guys, that's all for the today's tutorial. Before uh, we close the session, let me, as usual, I will be adding the CLI commands over here so that you can have a note of it. What are the commands we have used in the command line interface today? So it was FW strat command was used. This the use of this command was for what we can say to check the status of the firewall policies being installed. And then uh, we have used the command FW fetch to install the policy, and it was the IP address of checkpoint security management server then thereafter after this we have seen how to check the configuration of the interface and the command which you use show configuration interface and the final uh, command on the cli which we ran was 
set static route default next hope gateway address it is next hope ip address which will be the ip address of your router so these commands we have used for today so uh, guys that's all for today's tutorial if you like my video please subscribe to my youtube channel and do share with your friends see you in the next tutorial where we will be creating a web server and we will see how you can reach to the web server from outside to inside zone that's all and see you in the next tutorial